Hey, this is Mike from The Run Testers, and in this video, we are gonna be giving you our running review of the new Huawei Free Clip, a set of pretty unique looking, truly wireless earbuds, which are clearly aiming themselves at headphones like the Shox Open Fit. Now, do they pass the running test? Let's find out. So before we get into what the Huawei Free Clip I'd like to run with, what exactly is the Huawei Free Clip, which these are essentially Huawei's first attempt a set of truly wireless earbuds that adopt a kind of open ear design approach. Now, what do we mean by open ear? Well, essentially, it's not putting the headphones or earbuds directly inside of your ears, but in close proximity. And the idea behind that is that it can give you enough good sound quality, but also keep you in tune with the world around you. And ultimately, it's a bit of a safer way or safer approach to listen to your audio. Now, in terms of the free clip, they are using an air conduction style approach to that open ear design. Now. We've seen this before, we've seen it mainly kind of most notably from the Shox Open Fit, which we've tested on the channel. And essentially, as opposed to bone conduction, it is offering, or essentially is using speakers that sit in close proximity of your ears to give you that kind of bigger, fuller sound that you don't really get from bone conduction headphones, but still giving you that awareness and that safeness element as well. We also get from air conduction is more customizable sound. So what you'll find with bone conduction headphones in general is that you won't have this kind of great breadth in terms of you know tinkering with the sound profile. On Shox headphones, you do get a couple of EQ modes, but ultimately it's not massively varied. Now on the a Huawei free clip, you are getting something that offers kind of four EQ modes and that's available in Huawei's kind of AI life companion app. So you can't control them from the earbuds, but you can toggle between those different EQ modes to give you a kind of better or more suitable sound to whatever you're listening to. Now, in terms of the design, it's very unique looking in terms of what we've seen from open ear headphones before and earbuds. It's what I would kind of consider a kind of mashup of the kind of Samsung Galaxy Bean earbuds that Samsung launched a few years ago, but also kind of those like Jack toys that you used to get as kids for kind of, you know, those little games, those kind of metal jacks. Essentially, they are clip-on earbuds and how they work is they do kind of put that kind of little speaker unit in front of your ears. There's a kind of connector, a kind of flexible connector that kind of connects to this kind of bean kind of shaped um, kind of comfort design bit that kind of sits behind your ear and that's what keeps it in place. There's no ear tips, there's no wing tips to kind of hold them in place. It's ultimately relying on that design, keeping them in place when you are running. In terms of protection, you are getting something that's IP 54 rated, so it's not the strongest level of kind of waterproof and kind of dustproof um, rating that you can get on earbuds. But it does mean it gives you some protection when you are going out running in the rain. If you get a little bit of kind of muck or dust in them, then they should still operate under those conditions. While it might not look like it, you do get some controls built into these earbuds. They are discreetly hidden inside of the kind of stem kind of connector part of the earbuds and it allows you to activate gesture style controls. So you can double tap and triple tap and that let you do things like play and pause audio, skip through your tracks, but also handle calls as well too. When the earbuds are not in use, they sit inside of this charging case, which Huawei says is a seashell inspired design. You've got a USB-C charging port to power them up as well too. And this also obviously gives you a little bit of an extra battery boost on top of what you're getting off a single charge on the Huawei free clip. Now, as mentioned, there is a Huawei AI Life Companion app, which is what you use to set up and pair and connect these earbuds to your phone. That works with Android and iOS, and that gives you some additional features, like kind of Find My Earbuds. As I said, you're getting that kind of EQ support in there as well too. There is multi-point uh, support here as well, though it's mainly for using with Huawei's devices. There is a kind of, share my audio a bit like what beats and apple do with their um kind of headphones but ultimately it only is really designed for huawei smartphones and for other huawei headphones as well too so that's kind of the kind of brief outline of what you can expect from the huawei free clip now we're going to get into what they're like to run with and whether these are ones that you should buy So into that run test, I'm going to start with the design, the fit, and also the controls. Because ultimately, those are the kind of things that if they don't get right, then ultimately they're going to be no use for going out and running with them. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, these are a design which are definitely unique in terms of their approach, in terms of their look as well too. Now, there definitely is hallmarks of my experiences with these shocks open fit in terms of the fit and the secureness of these airbuds. I would describe them as kind of clinging to your ears as opposed to really clamping tightly. Um, now I've used these for all of my runs 
over the last few weeks and that's been kind of indoor outdoor runs my long training runs I've raced with them as well too so I feel like you know the types of runs I would use my headphones for I've kind of really put these through those tests now in terms of secureness it has been generally pretty good I like the fact that they're nice and light as though it worries me how light they are they have kind of hung about and kind of stayed put for most of my runs in that race is where I thought maybe they would come you know unstuck but ultimately they were absolutely fine so from that point of view generally okay when I did my indoor runs and I got a little bit sweatier I found that the earbuds would move a little bit now they wouldn't fall out but they definitely did move about a little bit and it clearly it sh for me it shows that when it gets a little bit sweatier those runs then it can be a little bit issue in terms of the movement that you get with these earbuds and they haven't fallen out for me the only time they've really fallen out for me is if I've kind of pulled a kind of a jumper over them if I've kind of worn so, you know it's been raining the last few weeks I've kind of had my running jacket and you know you pull your hood up and it starts to knock the the earbuds out of place so from that point of view we could probably level that at other earbuds as well too but that's something that I've noticed ultimately but most of my runs they have stayed put but as I said when I've done my indoor runs and it's got a little bit sweatier I found I've had to kind of play around with them and I've kind of moved them about to kind of nudge them back in place so they don't 100% nail it for me in all scenarios then we get into the controls which are gesture style controls which you know I've, I've seen good examples of those here it's interesting for me I've really found them difficult to kind of get on with and I think it really has to come down to where they're positioned on these kind of stems it's really kind of tucked near the kind of ball area of the earbuds and I found when you're on the move quickly it's very difficult to activate them you know there's a very clear spot you have to press on them it would make it more sense to have it the full stem area to kind of really get a good kind of responsive feel out of the controls but ultimately I just found them so hit and miss in terms of my experience and that's even when I've been sitting stationary and using them and not been running I've just found the controls not quite you know in terms of gesture style controls i've seen better examples of them and i think that is an area that if hawaii do these again that's when they need to improve because i just think when i'm running they haven't been good enough and i've just been found them very difficult to kind of activate even when i've been sitting down they've been difficult to use as well so the design for me in terms of secureness they have been pretty good as i said i thought they would probably kind of come unstuck when i went and raced in them but they were absolutely fine it's really been about when I've got a little bit sweatier in those kind of indoor runs and it would concern me whether I would be constantly playing around them if I was running in hotter outdoor conditions whether the fit would be good enough so there has been plenty of good examples where they have st stayed put but ultimately there have been a couple of areas where have left me wondering are these going to be the ultimate fit and it's a bit like the shocks open fit where I think in some scenarios they're absolutely fine but I think if you get in more challenging environments or if it's kind of you know a little bit hotter is it going to be a bit of a problem even in windier conditions they've been absolutely fine from that point of view but i just think i've not been 100 percent satisfied with design and the controls i definitely think have been pretty underwhelming in terms of execution on the free clip and then we've got to talk about sound quality because ultimately they don't sound good you're probably not going to want to run with them now i have tested a range of different open ear air conduction headphones i've tested kind of cheaper end from airbuds like the sivka so1 then up to kind of mid-range things like the jbl sound gear sense then pricier ones like the shocks open fit also the sony link buds as well too now in terms of where i would put these i would probably put these below something like the jbl sound gear sense i don't think these are the best performing open ear air conduction headphones and earbuds that i've used in terms of overall sound quality i think for me it's just a little bit of lacking i don't think you get the massive amount of power that you get from the shocks open fit i don't think you get the clarity you get from something like the sony link buds and also the sivka s01 and i don't think you get that brighter just enjoyable sound that i think you get from the jbl sound gear sense as well too I think it just kind of sits somewhere in the middle and you do have those four eq modes and ultimately i think some of those eq modes work better than others i think maybe the vocal based eq modes work a little bit better i think the elevate one which is essentially i think designed to give you a bit more power and bass and just overall warmth i just don't think it really elevates the sounds quality based on what i've tested i've you know tested it across a range of music i've used it for audio books and podcasts as well too i think you know it just it hasn't wowed me in terms of what else i've tested what else is out there in terms of air conduction air buds 
In terms of kind of calls, it's the same thing. I think it's fine in terms of call quality, but I don't think you're getting best in class in terms of that clarity. I think you're getting a good level of loudness, but ultimately I don't think you're getting the best performing earbuds in terms of something to handle calls as well too. I think ultimately when you are in that kind of environment where you need to have a good mix of your outside sounds, but also your audio, I do think it does a pretty good job on that side of things. I have used it in pretty bad when you've had some pretty kind of treacherous, windy conditions here in the UK and I've gone and taken them out and they've been absolutely fine. It's managed to retain that good audio or the, the audio it can deliver and also not be totally kind of, you know, obstructed by the wind or other kind of sounds in my environments as well too. So from that kind of open ear approach and that design, I do think it works very well. But in terms of that overall sound quality, I just don't think it's as good as what I've experienced on the Shox Open Fit and actually some cheaper air conduction open air earbuds as well too. So sound quality for me, just been okay, good. Definitely not the best out there in terms of what I've experienced from other earbuds, even at the cheaper end as well too. So as a battery life, I found the Huawei Free Clip pretty solid overall, nothing out of the ordinary in terms of what I've experienced. What I found is when I've used kind of the default kind of EQ mode out of the box that Huawei offers before I kind of update and use all the EQ modes, the battery drop off for an hour's worth of running at pretty loud volume was about 10%. If I use the additional EQ modes, it's probably 15%. So kind of what I expected to see in terms of battery performance. You do have a kind of handy, Kind of quick charge feature as well too to give you that kind of quick bump up if you get to charge them so that's quite handy to have it as well too as i said it's a usb-c um charging port in terms of charging them up you do have wireless charging support here so you can kind of drop it on those kind of qi certified kind of charging um kind of setups and i've got a couple and they've worked absolutely fine from that point of view so battery life nothing out of the ordinary not any kind of concerning drop in terms of performance that i've seen pretty much in line with what i've seen from other open ear truly wireless earbuds in terms of batteries so battery life definitely a i would say a solid kind of performer from the huawei free clip in terms of what i've seen in my running time so my verdict on the huawei free clip and whether these make good running earbuds is that you know, I kind of applaud Huawei for doing something a little bit different here. Um, I like the fact they've gone a little bit different with the design. And ultimately, in most scenarios, when I've been running with them, they have been absolutely fine in terms of that fit. I like the fact they're nice and light. They've been comfortable to wear. It's just been those indoor runs where it's got a little bit sweatier where they haven't fallen out, but they have kind of moved about a little bit for me. I think the controls just didn't work for me whatsoever. And I think particularly when you're out running, they're just not good enough or just not well executed enough for me to make them useful. And you get into sound quality. Well, I just think you compare it to what else is out there from air conduction style earbuds. I just don't think they match up in terms of that performance, even though you've got those additional EQ modes there as well too. And I think you can get cheaper earbuds than this that do a better job in terms of overall audio. Battery life is solid overall, and that's kind of a, definitely a plus for the Huawei free clip here. So for me, if I was picking a pair of truly wireless earbuds, that are open ear style, and use air conduction i would be going actually for a cheaper pair i would probably be looking at something like the jbl sound gear sense or the civca s01 which i've tested um i wouldn't be going for the shocks open fit which are clearly the the rivals for these or this is what they're set up against because the similar price 180 pounds 179 pounds um I would say the fit of these are better or being more reliable for me than the Shox Open Fit. I think the sound quality on the Shox Open Fit is better than the free clip overall. And I think you're just getting bigger, more powerful sounds ultimately. But one thing I have noticed, I know, you know, my Shox Open Fit time hasn't been absolutely great in terms of the secureness of the fit. Also, they've one of the buds has stopped charging since I've tested as well. So, you know, that has not been a set of earbuds that hasn't been immune from any problems as well too. So for me, I would be going for something like the JBL Sound Gear Sense, which offers an ear hook design, a more reliable design in terms of fit. Also has a neck band style design as well. So you can wear them like kind of Shox uh, Open Runs or Open Run Pros as well too. It gives you nice bright sound as well, customizable sound, good battery life as well there. And it just feels like a more solid option. You can go even cheaper as well with something like the Sivka S01, which I've tested as well, which I think gives you better clarity definitely compared to the Huawei Free Clip. Also has that ear hook design as well too. 
and overall just feels like I've had a better experience in terms of the fit, the overall sound performance, and also the battery life as well too. So for me, I think there's definitely some good qualities of the Huawei Free Clip, but ultimately if I was picking a set of truly wise earbuds based on open ear, air conduction style design, I would be going for something like the JBL Soundgear Sense or the Civica S01, just because I think you're getting better overall performance. So I think it's a good first attempt from Hawaii here. I actually prefer them to the Shocks Open Fit in terms of my time with them. I just think the sound quality and the ultimately, you know, what you're getting in terms of that performance when you're out and kind of battling other sounds, I think the Open Fit do a better job. But I mean, those are not phone, headphones or earbuds that I've absolutely loved either. Okay, so there it. That is our full running review of the Huawei Free Clip. Now, if you've got any questions about these earbuds that we haven't covered in this video, or there are other earbuds you would like to see it compared to that we haven't already referenced, do let us know in the comments. As always, like and subscribe, hit that little bell to find out about our latest videos, and yeah, we'll see you in the next Run Testers video.